This is an outstanding piece where we have a title, Disregard the Rate Scare and Buy Stocks Now. So look, you guys know that everybody is worried. There is a lot of macro uncertainties out there, but once we go over the facts, I think you would agree that there is a bullish setup here in place. So again, to recap, we have initiated our pullback narrative. This started in late July, okay? Everybody was very bullish, but our data was overheated expecting a pullback. The S&P did fall 8% from those highs. We were early on that pullback. Now we believe that everything is getting a little overdone on the downside. And here's why we think a good bounce could be around the corner. Tightening financial conditions, right? This has spurred panic selling. So here we've got a great chart. This is the Goldman Sachs US Financial Conditions Index. What it does is it basically rolls up all these spooky macro inputs into a single indicator. Notice how the S&P 500 right here, that started to fall just as this index began to spike in mid-September. So again, a lot of headwinds out there from the macro side. Now, why are we saying you should disregard the rate scare? Well, the first thing we want to look at is where is the crowd positioned? You know that Warren Buffett likes to say buy when others are fearful. Here we're looking at the AAII bulls bears spread. So that is the American Association of Individual Investors. Okay. They poll them every week asking about sentiment. Here we see that the average is a plus 6.5%. So generally people are bullish. However, if we look at the latest reading, it was at negative 11.5%, right? People are worried. They're fearful. Okay. What does that mean? Well, Turns out that going back to 1987, and this is where data can help you with another narrative. If you look at the most bearish sentiments, okay, the forward return is 6% over the next six months. This is for the S&P 500. And you look at the other quartiles, nothing is even close. So this is a bullish feather in your cap, but let's keep going. Remember, we said last October, you want to be buying stocks when the BMI is oversold. Guys, how many times do we have to pound the table here? We are near oversold right now. That's this yellow line. Back in October of last year, people, they didn't want to hear it, but the big money stampede started. Once this yellow line, the BMI starts to march north, you can expect a very big rally and this is when you want to be scooping up stocks it's when there's zero to reason to own stocks that's the right time to do it so how do you play it well you know if you're a map signal subscriber we give individual stock ideas but on this free channel we're going to be talking about a very simple way to do it with an etf and that is the s p 500 etf ticker is voo this is the vanguard it is cheaper than SPY, and we know that most retail investors, they don't like paying big numbers for ETFs and stocks. So VOO, it is the cheaper option in terms of shares, but it's going to give you the 500 best stocks out there, the top stocks in the market, the S&P 500. And look, what is the ranking? You've got technology, energy, discretionary. Those are the top three at the top from Map Signals. Um, and then at the bottom have been more of those rate sensitive groups like real estate and utilities. So why have tech stocks and energy stocks done so well this year? Well, it might have to do that they are cash kings. And what is a cash king? Well, here Alec looked at all of the companies. So these are the top 13 stocks are huge tech and oil names, and they have $807 billion or 30% of the S&P 500 cash on their balance sheet. So think about that. When interest rates are high, they are just earning big bucks on their idle cash. And that means that it's very stimulative for these companies, right? Apple, Google, Microsoft, Exxon, you name it. They are going to be generating money just by sitting there due to high interest rates. And that is why companies like this have been outperforming the market over the past year. Okay. So this is how you're going to play it. You want to be looking for oversold conditions. We are seeing that right now. We're seeing capitulation. The crowd is bearish. And now a great way to do that is by looking at the S&P 500. Historically, that is a winning 
ETF. We think it's going to make a big move in the coming weeks and months. You guys, I'll see you next week. Yeah.